So we've got to make sure that habit is early, that kids are getting to school. Right now in Indiana, more than 205,000 kids aren't going to school regularly. It is slower, but still a little startling. The Indiana Department of Education unveiled its most recent chronic absenteeism numbers, and it shows nearly 18% of students are missing significant chunks of the school year. You can see the state data shows more older students are chronically absent, but a significant number of children in grades kindergarten through second grade are also missing seen a lot of school days. The magnitude of that is startling, you're right, and if you think about our inverted bell curve, um, I know we've talked to a lot of different groups about this. We, we look at the high school, which is certainly the most significant, but we also, if you look at kindergarten and first grade, um, that that is a lot higher than it should be when our teachers are working on the foundations with kids. The state data shows learning suffers when a kid is absent. Even a couple of days here and there adds up. Students who are missing school are far less likely to pass the I-read in third grade. They're less likely to pass the I-learn and their SAT scores are much lower. It is statistically significant students who are coming to school 94% of the time are doing better um, significantly on the I learn. Um, so as a parent um, or a grandparent or, or whatever, that 94% or more really, really matters. Teachers could have told us this before we ran the data, right? But running the data, it, it is very clear students need to be in the classroom in order to make the greatest performance. Locally, nearly every school corporation saw a decrease in chronic absenteeism rates. That means more students are coming to school more often. But again, numbers are still high. During the past school year, several districts saw more than 30% of students absent from class. At some schools, as many as 50 to 60% of kids aren't showing up. My question is, do we know the why behind the absenteeism? And I am asking that question because if we know the why, that gives us um, some runway on how we can come up with a solution. I don't think at the state level we know the why. That's part of the difficulty in trying to bring the numbers down and get kids to school. According to nonprofit Attendance Works, the reasons a child might not make it to school are varied. It could be sickness, transportation, work, or even misconceptions about the impact of absences. But schools and teachers say they can't teach kids if they aren't in the classroom. It, it really is. Thanks for watching. Here's another story you may like. And subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.